Hello, St. Paul's. This is the ministry update for Tuesday, December 8th. And towards the end of this video, I am going to show you a little bit about what happens behind the scenes on Sunday morning. This coming Sunday, December 13th, we will have our service as usual at 1030. We will have our in-person service and our online service as well. If you're coming to our in-person service, please register at stpaulsottawa.com prior to uh, coming on Sunday morning. Our Blue Christmas service is going to be done a little differently this year. It will be online only. It will go live on our YouTube channel on Wednesday, December 16th at 7 p.m. And so you can participate in the service that way. It, of course, will stay up. And if it is a blessing to you, I would encourage you to let others know about it as well. It is a service, a devotional that is set up for those who find Christmas season difficult because of loss and grief. And we have all suffered some level of loss this year in 2020 with the pandemic. So I would encourage you to consider that service. Also, the Christmas Eve service will be on December 24th, as always, at 7 p.m. This will be a combination of live and pre-recorded, all mixed into one. And for that reason and a couple of others, our Christmas Eve service will be online only. And I know that will come as a disappointment to a number of us who were, would hope to be gathering together on Christmas Eve. But because of the format of the service, the way we need to do it this year, it would be very difficult to have people in the room. And, and even just with the very limited numbers that we could have, it would be difficult to be able to say some could come and some cannot come. So Christmas Eve service will be online only. And here's a look behind the scenes on Sunday morning. When you come to an in-person service, you come through the back door, hand sanitizing stations, and you're provided a mask if you don't have one. Then you come to the sanctuary where another member of the serve team will show you to your place. As you can see, we have the pews are taped off, so only specific places can be used for sitting. The church looks much like it does at most times. You can see with the Advent wreath and the Christmas tree. But you'll also notice some extra things that you maybe didn't see before. This is one of the new cameras that we have that is over at the side to provide that extra view at the front of the church. And there is one on the other side as well. And it is James who serves as our director for the cameras. He controls those and does the switching. And it's a complicated enough job that he has two computers going all the time to be able to do the job correctly. Moving up the stairs towards the sound booth, we find Ed, who is hard at work, and he also has two computers going. One of them is running Pro Presenter, and the other is crunching video. That's our X32 soundboard and a new switch for the, uh, the cameras. And that computer behind Ed, all it does is it crunches the video. It takes a huge amount of processing power to be able to do the video well. And that is our main camera. Down below, Andrea is doing the pro presenter. She only gets one computer, but she only needs the one to make sure that we have the words. The Lord bless you and keep you.